Savivi. Savivi. Savivi knives. Wow. What do you think about this one? Um, Cache. What do I think about this one? I think it's got a diamond pattern gray steel handle with ivory G10 inlay. 14C28N. I got this one because I like this better than the options that were available on this. Oh, crap. Look at, look at Mr. Uh, what are you doing with your knife, dude? You're not supposed to cut with it. Eh, sorry. Yeah, I just couldn't resist. And, yes, it is a steel handle, and it's a diamond pattern on the G10. What are you saying to me, boys? Okay, well, it's diamond pattern somewhere. And number eight, screws. And we've got the little lanyard pin up in here. And then the standoffs are big old dogs, which they've been doing a lot. Where's that other... Ah, yes, the the ODD or odd or whatever you want to call it, the tough knives design and talk about big old fat standoffs on that one too, huh? Yikes. Nice little, this is a little three and seven deal, three inch blades, seven inch overall. This one's bigger. This one's heavier because it's steel. Okay. And they didn't really skeletonize or I mean they had to cut away this part of the handle to put the scale inlay but uh and there's your lockup uh, 40% that's pretty close to that isn't it that's some pretty thick steel there before they you know had to machine away part of it but uh and there's you know where you can disengage okay Drop, disengage, drop. I like the design. It's nice. I, I don't think they attributed, like anybody, to this. Deep carry pocket clip. Okay, there it is. Flat screws, whoosh, not kicking up into the middle of this space here. Okay, they're flat heads. And then, so you could flip it to the left side. So you can go right or left. Got a nice little flipper tap. It's nice and smooth and rounded. It looks like, what is that, bead blast? Kind of looks like a bead blast, doesn't it? That's a big old blast right there, wherever I smooshed and smacked that. Okay, um, and then this fuller. So you can finger flick it with the fuller as well. So you can use the flipper tab. And then you see the jimping up on top side here. And then you could actually jump forward on this. Um, I don't know that you need to, but you could. And let me kick this around. And uh, destroy some paper. Okay. And obviously, obviously I've already been using the knife. So it's a cut. Yeah, it cuts still. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good little factory edge on it. It's not bad. It's not scary sharp, but it's about, you know, par for the course. And it's, uh, what, around four ounces? Let me kick this on. Hundred and sixteen grams. Studio lights getting in the way, ain't they? Four ounces. Okay. Uh, not overly heavy, I guess. I like the overall design, though. Don't you? Piercing, slicing, all that. Nice little, like I said, little choil out there, sharpening. Should be easy to take care of with that kind of blade steel. And three and a half inch. They always say 3.46. I don't know. What's the deal? 90 millimeters. Uh, not quite eight inches though, 7.85, whatever, at 20 centimeters. Now, how fat? What do you think? I'm gonna say at or below three millimeter, uh, three at best, probably. Yeah, right at three. And 11, oh, that's pretty slender, 0.44 of an inch thick, so. That's pretty slender. This should be pretty easy to carry, although it's it feels weighty because of the steel frame. 
maybe that didn't turn you on. Although, really, I mean, uh, you got you got some pretty structure. I mean, it's tough. It's it feels structural and tough, yet it's not all steel. So you 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 got traction here. I mean, this if you can see that that's grippy that's really grippy material this is not kind of your standard just g10 stuff this is grippy it it almost like a light grade sandpaper or something that's it's grippy believe me um and so that's good and yet you've got the heft and structure of steel um and so really i like this and i can't remember what my options were it's 79 bucks but white mountain knives have ltk is your discount code 10 percent off so basically eight bucks off so maybe 71 bucks and i think this was the least expensive of the group and here you go yeah it is a bead blast finish on the 14c okay now uh but the, see what they always say 3.48 inches come on man it's three and a half it's three and a half um and they don't no, they don't attribute design by Savivi, so probably Joe, I imagine. Um, and no, I mean no, I didn't. Ha I didn't have the other uh, printed out. You uh, take a look on that link that I give you to White Mountain for this. There are some other variations of the cachet on there, but no, it's easy to disengage. The good, they're good quality knives, you know? I'll tell you what, I just could not get rid of this one. I usually don't keep a lot of my Civivi knives as they come and go. I mean, I've got, I've got enough of them already. Let's put it that way, okay? Elementum, button log, blah, 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 this and that. But this Baron, this Banneret, see that Banneret? Check this out. I don't know. This is way cool. I like this knife. It's just got that traditional almost Barlow look to it or some weird thing going on that it, it I don't know. But I, I really like it and it feels lighter. Um, this is e super easy on the Ergos, but I, it's just something about that, that blade. Kind of spear point blade, right? But Oh well. And this got me too because I like this blade shape and then this diamond pattern with the white scales. And I thought, man, I could throw this baby in the dye tank and maybe make that uh, like a sapphire blue or God only knows any color starting with white. I wonder how it would color up with that texturing on there. How that dye would penetrate differently, maybe. Interesting. I don't know. I guess I'll find out, probably. So, yes. Um, uh, yeah, the ergos, of course, are straightforward, right? I mean, there's nothing there to interfere with a good grip on that. And, of course, the jimping on top gives you good purchase on the knife. Okay? Reverse grip feels good as well. Um... Uh, Relatively easy to find your balance point on this. And I like this fuller that runs along here. I think without that, you would have lost me a bit on this. But, okay. Um, and it, you can go right, left hand, deep, carry. I don't know. See, you know, the Savivi knives, 79. And if you don't get a discount, and if you have to pay tax on top of that then you're at 80 something dollars doesn't it seem like they're getting you know i mean not just Savivi, but you know all those brands that compete with them are getting right in there and i don't know if we're just kind of seeing the creep of inflation and other things like that or just i'm too stuck on numbers that were you know, the standard stuff back in 2016. I don't know. Maybe it all just jumped up on me. But, uh, you know, so then all of a sudden it becomes a big difference just in how you buy this, right? If you buy it from 
somebody who doesn't charge tax and they don't charge shipping, that's a big difference. And you get a discount code as opposed to somebody who no discount code and they pay you pay for shipping and you pay for tax. All of a sudden this thing starts getting, you know, in the eighty something dollar range, close to ninety. But I mean they're good knives. They're good knives, good quality knives. Uh, and then, you know, thus the creation of Sendcut, right? And Sendcut's got some good knives. So you can stay at the $46 range with them and still be in the Civivi Wee knife lineage, you know? So as is centered, there's no blade play, lock, rock, any problems there. You know, design flow, like I said, that's nice. Blade to handle length, it's all it needs to be right there. And once again, my complete disaster of a disassembly rag, which you know what, I, I, I finally am going to change that. And so we'll see, uh, see what you think of what comes next because it'll be interesting. Let's get this apart. Oh, well, that comes apart pretty easy. And my magnetized uh, tip, pull that out. You know, I just haven't had trouble with Civivi knives as far as hardware or disassembly or things like that. So that's good. They seem just solid, fit, finish, good. No real problems like with centering or things being iffy or weird. It's positive feel. Um, you know, so I they're kind of like when you look at cars, you know, if, you want something just super, you know, just there and reliable, but not necessarily the, the highest end of the marketplace. Something like, you know, Honda, Toyota, you know what I'm saying? And you go, I can always count on them, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and here we go. There's my little lanyard thing that's going to take a jump on me, probably try and run off. So I'm going to prevent that. And then... Ceramic detent ball, ceramic bearings, and of course, like in this box, is a zipper pouch with stickers and a nice uh, microfiber cloth, too. Cache, there's my model number and all that stuff. Now, pop this out, and we got the Civivi there, but of course, we got the little hump, the machine in there, and the matching hump right on this side so yeah that centers that and it keeps that pivot from turning okay so you can disassemble this and then of course i guess if you undo these uh, standoffs and everything then you can pop this insert out of here yeah you could if you wanted to so i mean which is something maybe i'll consider doing because i'm thinking about dyeing the scales although they look good in white actually so there it is disassembled and we're back with the cache cache coming apart going back together just as easy and breezy nice and centered up easy to flick drop good ergos i don't know is this a design you like i like the design i do and the problem is I like the design of a lot of the Civivi knives that come out. And you know what? I I get as I get as big a kick out of and it's like $79 retail, whatever. Um, you know, and, and everybody's jumping on the train of like $375 knives and blah 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 blah. And you know, $450 and up to five hundred dollars with the Moku tie dress up kit and stuff. And I'm just going, whoo! I don't know about you, but I can't just throw 500 bucks out the door like twice a week. That's a lot, right? Isn't that almost like a thousand? Two times 500? 52 weeks a year? What would that be? That'd be divorce. Okay, that, that spells divorce. Divorce. Okay, so, you know, 69 to $75 twice a week spells gonna get nagged but ain't gonna be divorced okay 
So that's all I'm saying, buddy. And you can have, I mean, and, and the, the thing is, it's no crying game if, if you lose it or damage it or whatever. And you don't have to think twice about picking it up, putting it in your pocket and taking it with you. Because you don't have to worry about the little snail trails and all the little crying that's going to happen with your $500 proud carry. Right? You can be a man. Carry you a knife. You can just say, I don't care, man. I'll do whatever the hell I want with this knife. Act like you could, at least. And I will leave you to it, my friends. Savivi. I'll have the link to the Savivi website and also White Mountain. And uh, you know what we do? We love them knives. You guys stay sharp.